guys, welcome back. Um, new bike, new project today. Twink's gonna tell you all about it. It's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, so this is a light damage. We're just gonna do a quick flip, one video on it. It's a light damage 99 electric glide. It's carbureted. Um, it's got some cool stuff done on it already, but it, it doesn't need much. Um, we'll go ahead and do a walk around real quick of it, and we'll pop a battery in it and see if we can get it to start. All right, so the only things I've done so far is take the front fender off it had just some scratches on it. I have that at the painter. I was hoping to have it back so that we could put it on today. But it's already got an um, 18 or 19 inch, I think that's called an enforcer front wheel done on it with the rotors. Um, the outer fairing scratch, I went ahead and ordered this new and I got it here to put on today. It's got, I think these are about like 16 inch apes and they're black. Some is either powder coated or painted them black. Most of the bike actually is like that. The primary, all the chrome covers and everything's been blacked out on it. Um, so yeah, the fender had scratches on it, the fairings got scratches, and it's cheaper just to buy a new one than it is to have it painted, because they come black. Um, this saddlebag was gone altogether, so I ordered a set of new style uh, 14 and up saddlebags for it. I've been told they bolt right on, you can just adjust one of the mounts, so we'll try to do that, but they come painted black too. This was bent down just a little bit, I just put a floor jack underneath it and got it straightened up. Um, it's got a Danny Gray seat on it. Yes, it's dirty. It's got all the auction dust and everything. I wanted to leave it like that so that y'all could see how we bought it. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's Like I said, it's carbureted. It's got an SMS carb on it. It's got two into one exhaust and everything on the bike's been uh, painted black. So, um, and it's got a Bluetooth stereo in it and I'm assuming probably aftermarket speakers, but we'll find, find out when we get this outer fairing off. But We'll go, we'll go ahead and get started with that and uh, get this thing popped off. Oh, shit. Damn, I guess it's all sorts of broke. You want me to grab it? No, I've got it. <clears throat> oh, shit. Dropping stuff everywhere. Oh, uh, somebody's tried to fix that in the past. Didn't have much holding it on there. This speaker's <laughs> busted all the hell. I think I might have an old one laying around. He's got six and a half inch adapters in here. So I'm gonna see if I got one laying around I can replace for it before we put the uh, new outer back on. And it's got fancy stereo. Looks like an amp and uh, controls to work your, <clears throat> the thumb controls on the handlebars and I'll get those off too. Before I put this bearing back on, I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this mud off of here.
All right. I guess we can go ahead and bolt on the bags now. What's up guys? Getting back on this thing again. Uh, about to pin the bags on it. And we got a hot battery in it, so we should be ready to go for a ride. And I also got my front fender on too that we didn't have on there last time. But we'll go ahead and put the finishing touches on it and see how it does. Oh, and these new style bags, I, I couldn't get the mount moved around enough in the front to um, use the factory hole. So I just drilled a hole like an inch forward and it seems to line up perfect. So um, you might can notch out the factory mount in the front enough to have enough adjustment to make the front hole work. But uh, to me, I just thought it was easier just to drill a hole in the bag. Oh, and I wiped off some of the, <laughs> the auction dust on it too that had been gathering on it. finished up we got the new outer fairing on there and the repainted front fender um, we didn't have to do much of this like I said this is just a real quick uh, one video series on it um, had light damage but it had a bunch of cool stuff on it so we're about to post this for sale obviously if you're interested go ahead and send us a message but I'm posting this one at 5500 bucks it is still a salvage title right now so to have to go ahead and be inspected and everything but um, not gonna lie, I've already taken it down the street while we're waiting on the camera battery to charge. It's a built bike. It's, somebody's done a lot of stuff with the motor, I have no idea what, but, um, and it's the cheapest thing that looks like a street glide for Sportster money that you're gonna get, in, in my opinion. But we'll go ahead and take it for a, for a quick ride, ride down the street, and, uh, and that'll be it for this one. y'all this is the end of this video we appreciate y'all uh, liking sharing and subscribing to y'all's friends and stuff that'll be it for this bike we appreciate y'all watching our videos and stuff uh we should be starting on the big wheel bagger here on the next one we'll get our parts bike tore down and everything else thanks again for watching our videos